very first night that I went to Playground, I got out to Berkeley Rep. It was the first time I'd been to Berkeley Rep. Um, and Berkeley has two theaters, two stages. And the other show that was running at the time was American Idiot. And I remember walking into the theater lobby, and there were so many people in the lobby that I immediately thought that I must be in the wrong theater lobby. And I thought, oh god, I must have walked into American Idiot. And it dawned on me that all of these people in the audience were actually here to see a night of stage readings of 10 minute plays. And I was completely, I was shocked. Having no prior experience with Playground, I, my jaw dropped. I'm one of the original writers. I started in, I think, 94. Um, so it's 2001 right now, so that's, what, 17 years? There was a season at State, and then there was a second season at State, and we did the first season, like, just two or three of them, and I was in this very second Playground, and it was a play called um, The Clown Considers Suicide When the Bearded Lady Decides to Shave. And it was an awful play, but I loved it. When I was in grad school, I was first in a uh, poetry master's degree, and I got that. But I would write almost a poem a day, maybe a poem a week. You know, varies, but sometimes a poem a day. And I would be going, 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 just trying. And you have to be writing a lot to get those happy accidents of really good poems. And I think if you're trying to come up with the whole play at once, it doesn't happen. So the practice of writing a 10-page play over and over and over again will help you when you transition into writing a full length. You can sustain uh, a tour de force idea in a 10-minute play in a way that's much more difficult to sustain in a 90-minute or two-hour piece. It's not to say it can't be done and isn't done, but it's just a lot easier to experiment with 10 minutes the other thing is if your experiment doesn't work, it only lasted 10 minutes. So as a result, you haven't spent a huge amount of time working on something that didn't work. The audience hasn't spent a huge amount of time watching something that didn't work. And that allows you to actually even enjoy something that is failing. Because you can be looking at it going, oh, this isn't really working at all, but it's kind of interesting. There's an idea in here that is maybe worthwhile. I think the 10 minute play is seductive. It's a, it's a wonderful tease. It's like a curtain opens up and you get to witness all of this activity and all of this room, just like a moment, you get a glimpse. And that glimpse allows you to just see so much without having to indulge it. There's something about the glimpse, like to, to be able to witness a piece of something in a complete piece that is satisfying. It's a superfood, you know? It's it's just it's like that. Lisa White, and I wrote Frigidaire. My name is Malachi Walsh. I wrote the play Iowa and the full-length Christina Walters. My name is Garrett John Grunfeld. I'm a playwright. I'm the author of Missives, The Grand Divorce, and The Serving Class, as well as The Empty Nesters and The Hummingbirds. I'm Katie May, and I wrote Rapunzel's Etymology of Zero.